Let's raise up your hands with everyone. Father, in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Pharaoh was a system that was made to frustrate the people of God. Something was a system. But this man, for him to let you go, for him to accept your deliverance, he had five negotiating points to say, if you want me to leave you, and most of you have a fellow who is negotiating right now to say, if you want me to let you go into a millionaire that God has raised you, into what God, into your marriage, into the level that God, there are five things we need to talk. So when I say, come out, listen, the devil will just walk out, stand there. After we are done prayers, he comes and says, can we negotiate five points? There are five negotiating points of fellow. Can I share with you? Yes. Let's go to number one. Number one, you, you can worship God, but stay within the devil's premises. Let demons still be around you. So you, you can still be in church, you can still fast, but around you there must still be some evils happening around you. Now, let's go to Exodus 8 verse 25. Because of time, let's just be reading. And the Pharaoh called for Moses and for Aaron. And he said, go you, sacrifice to your God, where? In the land. Did you hear that? Sacrifice to your God. Which land? Same Egypt. He says, I have no problem for you to sacrifice. But do it here in Egypt. So we have people right now who are in church. But they are, they are still involved in every evil. They are still doing anything people outside are doing. You can worship, but still remain. Within the premises of the devil. And we have people right now who actually, they are all oh, praise be to God, they worship God, they were after worshiping. They are thinking like a normal human being. Like, do that now, and they will do it. Because the devil is a negotiating point. So, Pharaoh, he looked at Moses and said, I know you have come to deliver the people, but this is this, this issue. You can sacrifice your God, but do it around me. How many people are worshiping God right now? And still more, there are elements of the devil around them. Number two, don't go far away. You must compromise. Exodus 8 verse 27, we will go three days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he shall command us. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you shall not go very far away. Entreat for me, please. Imagine Pharaoh says, I will accept you to go and worship. So they said, no, we can't worship in your land. We will walk three days journey into the wilderness. This is Moses. We will go three days into the what? To worship there. He says, uh -huh, no problem, you can go. But don't go far away. We have people right now who the devil is using that as a, as a negotiating point. To say, you can pray, but don't go too far. You can become rich, but don't go. You can become spiritual, but don't go too. Even, even if they pray, they will dream, but they will not go too far. As we speak, they can see visions, but they can't see far. Negotiation points of a pharaoh behind you. He says, I know, I know you pray. I know you can date, but don't go too far with your relationship. <laughs> Am I talking to you? 
You can save God, but don't. The moment you're going too far, he will come after you. Read the scripture back. Let's just read it. It says what? And Pharaoh said what? And Pharaoh said, I will let you go that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you shall not go very far away. Entreat for me. Now, message translation. I want you to see this. We have people right now who don't even know how the devil negotiates. Okay? Now listen to me. Listen. Listen to this. Do, do, you, know, do you know that there's a negotiation ar around you? You may not know it, but the devil, listen to this. What is blocking you? You want to become rich. You are believing God for prosperity. But listen to me. There is an enemy who is actually pleading with you. He has put up a mark that you should go. You can go to Major One. You can pray as much as you want, but don't go too far spiritually. As we speak, you always go up like this spiritually. And then before you know it, you are back. Every time your spiritual life is up, down, up, down, up, down. Because the devil has put up a mark. Don't go too far. And you have never reached your climax spiritually. There is a level that you're going to reach. And the devil knows once you reach there, you become dangerous. And he says, you can do anything around, but don't go too far. Am I speaking to you? Yes. Do you know we have people who actually by now, they were supposed to be hearing God, seeing angels, but they will not reach that level spiritually. They will never. Because the devil says, ah, you can pray, but don't. There's a, you can compromise. Negotiation point. Negotiation point. You should compromise. Don't go too far. I worship. Say, yeah, go ahead. I have no problem with you. He never said don't go. He actually allowed them. Moses and Aaron. He said, no problem. Go and pray. But don't go too far. Why? Because the devil knows that when you go far, you are gone. He says, I... I Entreat you. The word entreat you means I am pleading with you. Don't go far. You will stand in prayer. Hey, feeling all the anointing and everything. Next month, the other month. Boom. There is a negotiation. Never go too far. We have people who are building houses right now. It's just a stack. Because in the spirit, there's a way don't go too far. It's on the foundation. They can't finish it. There are people right now who they are supposed to even to marry. Hey, hey, hey. Dead, no problem. But don't go too far. Somebody raise up a hand and say, I break this demonic network. Say loud and clear. Say, I break this demonic network. I break this demonic system. It was a system which was put for the people of Israel. When they were prospering, when they were living well, there was a system put for them. Bah! And the system began to put up negotiations to say, if you want this, do it, but don't go far. Another point. Another negotiating point. Only men are allowed to go. Oh, you didn't hear me. Only what? Men. Only men are allowed to go. Because the devil knows that if, if men goes and women stays, men will be stuck somewhere. And they will come back for their wives. <laughs> How can, you, how can you tell the people of Israel? How can you say to them, go, leave your wives and your children. Leave them, you go. Imagine that they left. They are going to Canaan. On their way, what will happen? The Bible says, 
in Exodus 10 verse 8. And Moses and Aaron were brought up unto Pharaoh. And he said unto them, Go, save the Lord your God. But who are they that shall go? In verse 9. And Moses said, We will go with our young, with our old, with our sons, with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds. We will go. For we must hold a feast unto the Lord. In verse 10. And he said unto them, Let the Lord be so with you, as I will let you go. And your little ones, look to it. For evil is before you. Verse 11. Not so, go now you that are men, and save the Lord. For that you did desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. In NIV. I want you to hear this. No, have only the men go and worship the Lord. Since that's what you have been asking for. Wait a minute. Only who must go? Amen. Only men should go. So you will find many marriages, even in many marriages and many families, you will find only men are working. You only find men are breadwinners. Because the devil knows. But if both will go, they are gone. But time has come when you will see an ECG in the Jesus nation. Both man millionaire, woman millionaire. Hey, am I talking to somebody right here? Both. But the devil wants only one to go, one to stay. Even spiritually, check around. I told you before. Even spiritually, check around. You find that in many, many houses, it's either a wife is praying and not a man. Or either a man is praying and not a woman. Only one must go. Because the devil knows you'll be stuck somewhere. And you'll go back to Egypt. I pray, you go. Your man is not, is, not, is not going with you. Somewhere, somehow, you'll be stuck. You begin to fight. But I pray, every system the devil has built around you, it is breaking by this ordinance. As we even speaking now, you even find other houses now that we are praying together both, and one is like me, I'm no longer believing in this. Just know that the system of fellow is negotiating somewhere. There is a negotiation by the system of fellow. All of a sudden, you find yourself stuck somewhere. The Bible says, and the poor man cried out, and the Lord hid him and delivered him from all his troubles. May God hear your prayer tonight and deliver you from this system. Number four, the other negotiating point of the devil with you. He has no problem to let you go. There are people who are set free. I have seen people who after I laid a hand upon them and commanded evil to go, evil left. But when the demon was leaving, left a negotiating point. Point number four. You can go, but leave behind your money and your properties. Your heads and your cattle. Leave them behind. You go. But your money. So we have people who are delivered and are broke. Oh, you didn't hear me. We have people right now in church who are delivered, but they are what? Let me read the scripture for you. You know, I love the Bible. Do you love the Bible like me? Mm -hmm. From verse 20, Exodus 10, verse 24. And Pharaoh called out unto Moses and said, Go you, save the Lord. Only let your flocks and your heads be stayed. Go and do what? 
Go, go and do what? Come on. You, you are not following. Come on, read it. Go and do what? And save the Lord. See, you, you are missing the most important statements here. Go and do what? Go and save How the Lord. How many people are saving God today? Many people without their, their properties, without money, without... Look at the statement. Mm. Go you and save the Lord. Only, Only let your flocks and your heads be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. You can take your children, you can take everybody, but leave your money behind. Am I talking to somebody here? Or you are tired? Tell your neighbor, are you understanding this? Say, neighbor, you were only delivered, you. <laughs> only you, you were delivered. Only you, you were delivered. Only you. Wow. Negotiating what? Point. On the same negotiating point, on the same statement of only you, only you save God, leave these things behind. It, we also look at it from another side. When you have money, the devil will be like, don't, don't give. So we have got people who actually only them come to church to serve God and not with their substance. Am I talking to you? And we have people who are set free, but their money is not set free. They are delivered, they are in church like this, but their man is stuck somewhere. Like, I'm, I'm believing God for my money to be released. Because the devil is, ne that's your negotiating point. If you are facing that right now, just know that I, I am under that category. The enemy has allowed me freedom to serve God, but he, he, he is hoarding back my things, my wealth, my money, my finances, my produce. He's holding back my farms. Some of you are supposed to have farms. Some of you are supposed to have estates. Some of you are supposed to have properties. The devil said you can go and serve your God, but leave behind your properties. Tonight that system is breaking in the name of Jesus. Raise your hand with holy anger and shout, I command, I command the, system the system built around me built around to be broken, to be broken by the name of Jesus. By the name 